would say. We always drop frames right at the beginning. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You can do it, dude. <laughs> Come on, baby. Make it happen. Why? Sixty-five percent. All right, we're going down. Are we back? <laughs> Somebody in the chat, say something! Say something! <laughs> That gives me such anxiety. Oh. You guys just freeze, dude. <laughs> I need confirmation. I'm stressed. I'm stressed, okay? Oh, we're dropping frames, dude. What on earth are we going to do? Why? I don't know if it's just my ping is super low. Phone stream, no way. Okay, now we're not dropping again. Dude, oh my gosh, I'm, all right. You know what, this is a big moment, folks. This is a big moment, are you ready? You're here. This is a, mo this is a moment, okay? I think we might need to make this one of those moments, please, if you wanna do that from the creator dashboard. This is a moment. I'm putting on my to-doist right now. Call Spectrum. All of you, all of you are here. All of you that are here right now in the chat, you're a part of this moment. You're gonna get a badge that says you were a part of this moment of Checkpoint Church history. I'm not even kidding, I'm not even kidding. Do it, please. Make it happen. If you know how to do it. If not, I can look into how to do it. But we're this is a moment. I'm calling Spectrum. I don't know what it's gonna take. I don't know what what the difference is gonna be, but we're getting a we're getting a new modem. At the very least, we're getting a new modem and a new router. And um, this is just absurd. Alright, now that song is cruel. That song is cruel because it intentionally slows down as if it's losing gas. But you're all here. You're all here for the moment. Believe it. Officially. Hashtag Nate's fed up. <laughs> Hashtag Nate's fed up. He can't do it anymore. He's reached his breaking point. Can't handle it. I can't take the pressure. I can't hack it. I'm gonna close out of Discord. Oh my goodness. Hilariously enough, our game for today is all about um, our lack of control. Here we are. All right, who stayed with us? Who stayed with us the whole time? Yeet, sneaky pigs, squish. Was out of sense with us, trombone? H-man, who stuck around? Who are my loyal, who are my loyal few? Y'all are awesome. You to real MVPs. The ones who stuck around. The next dirty sermon will be on today. Stanley Parable was drop flame equals no control. That's what I'm saying, dude. That is 100% what I'm saying. Dude, just so frustrating. So frustrating. 
5% again. Unreal. It really is unreal. Uh, so I've gotten, for those of you that have, I know, dropping like crazy, man. For what it's worth, we're only at 4% this time, so it's way better than it was. You don't get to say UG if you have a Whale Lord up. Only people that aren't spamming Whale Lords get to say UG. It's law. You can spam if you want to, but when stream crashes, don't be complaining. Don't be saying UG. Because it's you. It was always you. Oh my goodness. Doodle request? What doodle request would you like? What would you like to have doodled for you? as we drop more frames. As I actively watch frames drop. Jackie banning people? Okay. That works for me. Um, okay, Google, set a 90 second timer. Checky here. He's, of course, incredibly happy. Um, and he's going to have the band hammer. Um, it's going to say ban on it. And uh, he's banning Teemo. I don't know how to draw Teemo. You always ask for Timo, and I gotta look for a resource. I don't know what Timo looks like. I don't know what Timo looks like. Oh no, his goggles are on his eyes this time. I didn't realize they were off to the side. He's got to be sad. He's got a scruffy face. He's going to have his arms up like, ah, oh no! He's going to have sad eyes. Okay. The Teemo definitely threw me for a loop. Timo definitely threw me for a loop. But here, we have Checky banning Timo. There you are. Oh, the moment didn't work? Weesh through? Weesh no! Can we do it now? Oh, you now know how. But can we do it with that same moment? You gotta act. Oh, I gotta ham it up. I gotta pretend. I can do that. Let me get into character. Let me get into character real quick. Get into character. <clears throat> Lights, camera, action. Folks, you guys are about to be a part of a, of a monumental moment right here, okay? I am finally to the point that I cannot handle another crash. So I'm going to my Todoist right now, and I am adding to my list. I just want you to know, this is a big moment here on stream, okay? You are gonna be a part of something huge right now. And I'm making it a, a tier four, most important thing on my to-do list. Call Spectrum. There we go. 
Folks, this is real. This is really happening at long last. I'm fed up. I can't do it anymore. Spectrum has pushed me too far. You've done, you've done too much this time, Spectrum. And you are here for it. The folks that are in the chat right now, you are here for this monumental moment where I finally am broken like the bat by Spectrum. Did, you do it? Did that work? Did that work? Was that it? <sighs> Method acting is tough, you guys. I really became the character there for a minute. I mean, I really felt like I embodied Nerd Pastor Nate there. Now, hopefully everybody should get a moment thing. I still don't really know what that means, but they were very proud of it whenever they developed it, so. I don't know if any Twitch people are actually using it. We're at 6% still, folks. Oh, this is driving me wild. Bonkers. What's even weirder is that we've had totally fine streams the past couple of streams. Not even a little bit of drop frames. It's always going to be something. They refuse to make it nothing. Always got to be something. Either I have to be, like, very sick, very tired. You hate the moment? Did it still not work, please? I, I put in the performance of a lifetime. It works, it just doesn't look exactly like you like. Oh, you got me saying, did it work? <laughs> or was my performance too long? Did I need to shorten it a little bit? Did it need to be a little bit more, a little bit more succinct? I could see that. I like this chip tune right here. That's nice. We got what we needed. You're officially a part of your first ever Checkpoint Church Twitch moment. Chats in the clap. Chats in the clap for Twitch moments. We love it. We love it. We're fans. We love Twitch and all the things they give us. Now if they could just give us a better spot on the algorithm. Chats in the clap. Chats in the clap. Folks, we're going to be playing a game called Stanley Parable. Um, it's been years, dude. It's been years since I've played the OG Stanley Parable. And so I would almost say that I barely remember it. So I think at the beginning, so they just released an ultra deluxe version. And at the very beginning, I'm pretty sure you can choose to say if you've played the game or not. And I think I'm going to say that I didn't because I genuinely don't remember hardly half of the choices that I made. I remember like sporadic scenes, um, but overall, I don't remember anywhere near enough of it to say like that I'm uh, I played it recently. You don't remember? You don't remember playing it at all, or you didn't play it? Please. You're in the same spot as me, or you just genuinely don't even know this game existed? Because I definitely know there are people in the latter camp that just genuinely never even knew this game was a thing. Which blows me away. They must not have been on YouTube. Because it was everywhere there for a while on YouTube. It was a big deal. A prevalent thing. If you were in the Let's Play scene 2012 to 2016. It is a meta game. It's very meta. It's so meta. That's so meta. 7%. 7% of frames. I'm about to throw my coffee cup through my computer. I'm gonna talk for a little bit longer. We're gonna hang out in a just chatting mode for a little bit longer. And then uh, I'm gonna get some more tea and then we're gonna start our uh, start our game. How are we doing though, folks? I missed everybody yesterday. Um, we were not able to do our regular Monday stream. Uh, I'll do a make good stream tomorrow, two o'clock. Be there, be square, two o'clock Eastern. So we'll, be, we'll, be, we'll stream for a little bit tomorrow. And then Thursday, we're going to kick off our first ever morning stream, and I'll have my coffee ready and all that good stuff. Should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's been a weird week. <laughs> it's it kind of it's it's going to be a like learning curve to throw that in randomly in the middle of my week, but um, I'm excited to see how it works out. Uh, I've been I've been working really hard. I've been working really hard at 
listening to other streamers, being in other streams, um, hanging out on other in other areas of Twitch, and just trying to learn and absorb from them. And one of the things that I've learned is that there aren't many people that do anything in the morning. So maybe that's because you nerds aren't awake. <laughs> that's very possible. That's not exactly true. There is one person that's almost always live in the morning. And um, I don't have a hot tub is all I'll say. I don't own a hot tub, so I don't think I'm going to be able to compare. I don't, I don't think I'm going to compete with that streamer and their morning streams. Um, but there's no, there's no morning streams. Not really. A lot of late night streams. Holy moly. Last night I was on uh, watching Stained Glass. And uh, whenever I was watching Stained Glass at like 9 o'clock, I've started following more people. And I had like 12 people live last night at 9. So Monday nights are jam-packed. I will not be starting a late night Monday night stream. Everybody was live. Your late night? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe there's a bunch of maybe there's a bunch of West Coasters. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. It feels like it was East Coast people. So many late night streamers. If you start doing this, if you start doing a consistent schedule, be sure to let us know on the Discord. Late night Tuesday, we could use more. That's that's a that's a empty night. Well, you know, one of my ultimate goals is to partner up with with all those wonderful folks and um, come up with a schedule. Just like find a church, I want there to be a find a Christian streamer or a find a church stream. Um, I just think that is so viable and needed and wanted. I just don't know how to do it. Bro, I don't even have a work schedule. I Look, it's fine if you don't. It's fine if you don't. But if you do decide to come up with a schedule, be sure that we get in on it. We want to know. And that goes out to all of our, all of our wonderful um, Checkpoint peeps. If you're a streamer, uh, we have a we have a streaming community forming. We streams uh, when I'm like, yo, let's play Halo on stream. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. I know that uh, Frost has been playing a bunch of Halo. I've played exactly one round of Halo. <laughs> that one session, that one late night two hour session that we played, that like. Three quarters of our um, uh, best of for that month came from. Speaking of which, those are coming out eventually too. They're just on the back burner. Folks, I got so much on the back burner, I don't know what to do. And I'm doing make good streams. It was definitely the first stream that Yeet ever uh, came onto and hung out in the chat. We just want to play Halo tonight. Hey, if that if that ends up with we streaming, then we need to know. We need to know. So trombone, here's what you need to do, okay? You need to put on your schedule when you're gonna ask Bleach to play Halo. Let me know that, I'll put that on the schedule. You ask Bleach, Bleach streams, and then that's Bleach's stream schedule. That's how it works. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a middle manager, Mr. Manager, Mr. Manager stream, easy, no problem. I don't even know my own schedule most of the time. I keep getting that response. Yeah, yeah, I keep getting that response from you people. What are you thinking? Clearly my chat, maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe instead of these normal streams where we play games, I need to teach you guys how to build a schedule. Cause I am to the T. I got a schedule for everything. I'm hoping to start streaming sometime this summer. My wife and I are take, talking it over. I thought you said taking it over and I was like, heck yes, sneaky. Taking over Twitch, dude. I like that mentality. I love it. I would love to see a sneaky big stream. What would you stream? Actually, if you want to help me build a schedule and keep track of an agenda, I'd be down for that. Well, I can I can give everybody practical tips on streams and help people guide things through.
Tuesday nights I have Bible studies lead. That right, that's right. That is that was an announcement that was gonna be made today, but it's not gonna be made today. <laughs> it will hopefully be made tomorrow. It'll definitely be made soon. My schedule just goes out the window. Well, I am notoriously uh, scheduled. Um, I love a schedule. A schedule. Uh, a couple years ago, I took to the point, after school pretty much, once I once I got done with school, I literally block out my schedule now. So, like, I have, I have time during the day that is, like, not structured, but it is structured to be a time to work. So I'll have, like, a chunk of time in the morning that'll be like, this is creative space. If you don't write during this time, you're not going to write the rest of the day. So, like, if I've got to write a newsletter, it's going to be written during that little that little chunk of time. My schedule changes so much every week, though. Yeah, exactly. You have you have shifts. You have things that take form. But if you set those boundaries of time, you establish them. I would love to be, but things come up like on Monday, and I can't say no to bishops. Speaking of the bishops, um, there was an excellent podcast put out by some UMC bishops very recently. Uh, the Unfinished Church podcast. Unfinished Church. Uh, they interviewed Nadia Boltz Weber. It was a great interview. Great pod. I don't know the bishops that are involved. I can pull them up. Let me see. Let's see what bishops are involved in this. Bishop Latrell Easterling of the Baltimore, Washington, and Peninsula Delaware conferences. Bishop Michael McKee of the North Texas conference and Bishop Gregory Palmer of the West Ohio Conference. Three of them partnered up and are doing a series of podcasts. Um, first one was Nadia Bolt Weber. Next one is Ibu Patel. Uh, one after that is Opal Lee, Fred Shaw, Brian McLaren, Willie Jennings. So, excellent podcasts, excellent guests, excellent bishops. If you're curious at all about the conversations uh, around humility and race and implicit bias and anti-racism be a great place to start. It's good stuff. I love podcasts. Almost at 200, folks. I'm at 198 podcasts. I need two more podcast recommendations. Go ahead and round me out. We're at 9% drop frames. Spectrum! Spectrum! They're right there. They're next door. 9.5%. Let's see what Spectrum Business says. Let's see if I check the website. Let's see if they've even realized there's an issue. They sure hadn't earlier. Their services. Okay. Connected, connected. No issues. Well, I have maybe five podcasts and I can't keep up. I have so many podcasts. Out of those, out of those 198 podcasts, I would say there are 40, maybe 50, that are serial and are already done. But I, as far as like weekly or monthly, weekly podcasts, I probably have 125 to 140. Monthly podcasts, I would say I have 20 to 30. Moviga, let's see, let's see where I'm at with Moviga. I am. Currently on episode um, 15. I'm 15 episodes deep, so I'm on season 4, episode 5. Sony has just bought Bungie. Posted on February 4th of 2022. So I'm three months in. Three months into the Moviga backlog. I struggle to find podcasts that keep my attention. I hear that. My, my trick for finding podcasts that keep my attention is to turn up the speed until they get my attention. I just can't listen to the podcast at normal speed. There's very few. The, pretty much the only podcasts that I listen to at normal speed are ones that are music. Most history ones. You listen to Hardcore History, Dan Carlin. That's a good one. His podcasts don't come out that often, but when they do, it's like eight hours. Podcasts are so long. I just listened to one on the new Kendrick Lamar album. Gave me a lot to think about. Gave me a different perspective on the um, anti-diaries. I still like it. I still like that song. I don't think I... I still really enjoy that song. I don't think I like that song. <laughs> I still think it's one of the one of the best songs on the album. 
but I don't know if I agree with the song. That's a good way of putting it. I don't think I agree with the song. I don't know. It's a tough place to be. Be coming out of the coming out of the church, right? I think he has a really good message in that song about the church, but it's the rest of the song that um, I can't really the community that the song is written towards. I can't speak to. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I feel like that makes sense. So I can't even weigh in on if it's appropriate or not. I can just say that I think it's probably not appropriate. Due to Twitch, I'm behind on my podcast game. Yeah. I I am I'm I'm in that same place. Twitch definitely draws a lot of time. It expects a lot of time. I, I've been I've been really good. I feel like I've been really good. I feel like I've done a really good job to pat myself on the back. I've done a really good job. I've been a good boy. I've been I'm trying I'm trying to uh, to hang out with more Twitch streamers and be supportive of this Christian nerdy community. But oh boy, it does take a lot of time. Boys, I meant to ask you. I just saw you posted your XQC meme uh, or emote there. How are how are you feeling about XQC right now? Is he doing okay? He's been in the news. He's been in my he's been in my circle a lot. Is it as big of a deal to his audience as it is to everything else? Everybody's acting like it's not kosher. He does this once every year. Yeah. I know that Pokey stepped in, and that was a big deal. If they ban the Gamba, they need to ban the hot tubs. You're probably right. You're probably right. Two addictions being fed, both unhealthy. Yeah. YouTube's already... They've done it. They've done done it. Wait, can we all stop a second and talk about how my education failed me? Why do you say that, yeet? Also, I'm from Vegas and you do not care. Captions just tran transcribe Christian nerdy streamers as Christian dirty streamers, and I think that's what brings us back to Only Pastors Land again. Oh, it's not Chicago. You're not... Okay, so look. You are... You're... you're it's, it's not like it came out of nowhere, right? So typically, typically what you see is you see Central Standard Time, and then in parentheses, you'll, you'll see Chicago. So you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, that's why I made the joke about Pacific being Los Angeles, because it's the same thing. If you go and look at the, the time zones and you see Pacific Standard Time, um, you're going to see Pacific Standard Time, parentheses, Los Angeles. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, I think, is New York. So you're going to see it. Is it Pasadena? I thought it was Los Angeles. Whatever. There's a lot of different ways that you can see it written. So you're not you're not totally off base. <laughs> and then Sneaky and Bleach, right? Then there's two time zones there. So there's Pacific Standard Time. There's Mountain Standard Time. And then there's Mountain Daylight Time. Right? And that's that's Arizona. So, like, oh! Because Arizona doesn't obey, uh, obey. Wow, that's a harsh term, isn't it? Arizona doesn't doesn't uh, abide by um, daylight savings time. And so they're on a different time. There's MDT and MST. It's, it's all over the place, dude. Don't feel bad, ye. The only thing that Arizona does right. <laughs> Let's not follow. I like abide. I like abide. But yeah, right? It's it's all over the place, dude. So don't feel bad for yourself. But I couldn't help but poke a little fun at you with the Los Angeles. Um, it is it is baffling to figure it out. What I think made it so funny is that you were so resolute in your like. <laughs> it is Chicago time. What are you talking about? I love it. It is it is the time that it is in Chicago. You're not wrong. But that's why we all attribute you with Chicago. Oh, man. That was funny. That was a great way to start my day. It's always nice to start your day with a funny. That's what the newspaper's for, I believe. We are just we are just sitting pretty at 7%. We go up to 9, we go down to 7. We go up to 9, we go down to 7. Back and forth, back and forth, up and down, up and down. Stressing me out. Oh, looks like we might be about to go again. Kansas City in less than 48 hours. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited for you, 
so excited. No, none of those. None of those trombone. I would never say such a thing. Just pineapple. Oh, hey, T-Talk. Every day is T-Talk over here in the UK. What's up, my friend? Every day is T-Talk. Well, every day, every day in Checkpoint Church is also T-Talk at about, at about 3 o'clock. I have tea pretty much every day. I love KCMO, the Kansas City, Missouri. KCMO. How do you say that? I feel like that can't be right to say KCMO. Do people say KCMO? That can't be true. KSMO? KSMO? KSMO's kind of nice. Kickmo? KCMO. 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 I don't like that. Noda is fine, dude. Or Nola. That's fine. But KCMO? KC Mo. KC Mo. KC Mo's fine. KC Mo's fine. KC Mo's better than KC Mo. Um. No, like Moo? <laughs> it can't be Moo. <laughs> KC Moo. Or Kick Moo. Kick Moo? It can't be Moo. It can't be Moo, dude. <laughs> North Carolina barbecue or nothing. I was born and raised in Lexington, folks. So, I mean, you're, you're not going to convince me. Kick move. Okay, that's fine. We keep going back and forth. Um, Yeah, I, I cannot be convinced that there's any other barbecue like my barbecue because I was... You, you, you were simply... What, what, is the, what, is Bane's, what is Bane's line? I was born in a barbecue. Molded by it. Yeah, I don't like kick move. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. At least it ain't Texas. No Texas barbecue. I, I'm also not a, not a, it's, see, there's like the thing, right? A lot of people ha are like hierarchical about their barbecue as if there's a competition. There's just North Carolina barbecue and then everybody else. All the other barbecues are whatever. I'll try them. Maybe they'll be good. Maybe they won't. I don't know. But none of them are ever going to compete with Lexington style. Ever. It's just, it's not even a, it's not, it's not like I get competitive because there's nothing to compete over. It just is. Amen. Best barbecue I ever had was in South Africa. I've never been to South Africa, but maybe. Maybe it would be something that could compete. In all fairness, I've only ever had barbecue within the, within the confines of the United States. So it's very possible that another country could do barbecue. But irregardless, the best barbecue in the United States of America, the good old U.S. of A, is Lexington, North Carolina. We have the barbecue festival. I'm sure that's not the only one. I'm sure like there are so many barbecue festivals out there. What is that? What is that emo? What's so good about it? Vinegar. Vinegar. Vinegar is what's so good about it. That's pretty much it. That's the America guy. That's pretty rare that you can get me to say America. <laughs> but that's one. Barbecue is the way to do it. Barbecue is the way to do it. I got to make more tea and then we got to start this game, don't we? How far can we go without starting stream? That's the real question. How far? How far can I go without playing the game? I can talk about anything and everything for hours, though. That's the reality of the situation. Longest intro ever. Don't even play the game. Just that's the meta. <laughs> Stanley never wound up playing the game. Because Stanley was so interested in chatting with the people of Checkpoint Church. And so Stanley just sat in his house and streamed. Yep, I don't know if I may have that achievement. I don't, has, has it been 10 years since it released? I doubt I played it at release. But I definitely have not booted up the game in many, many years. What do you call that voice? That's the Stanley voice. Now we have to play the game if you don't recognize the voice, because that was my best impression of the Stanley Parable guy. Nyo. Nyo. 
This music feels crazy epic for me drinking tea. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I need more tea. I need more tea. You guys entertain yourselves in the chat. I'll be right over here. I'll be close by. Okay, what's up, chat? We're back, we're back, we're back. Invasion of the pineapples? To be honest, all Americans sound the same to me. Really? And my voice sounds the same as the American. Yeah. Going down to the Jiffy Mart at the Piggly Wiggly. sound like and see I feel like I sound I feel like, like so to me there are several different American dialects of course but the one I've always wanted was the what is it it's called like the transatlantic it's the yeah say it's the like 50s one that's the one I've wanted I've wanted it forever if I could I would I would develop that accent I got the draw I don't think I do I don't think I do it's not as, it, maybe I have like some mannerisms. I'm like Charlotte Southern, right? I don't think I'm like, um, so I do this thing whenever I talk on the phone to my parents and that's when my draw like really comes out. Mason Dixon, y'all are bonkers. I think I'm like Charlotte draw. I have like a little bit of the, I'm like, I'm, I'm from the South but I live close enough to the city. Here's where I think my accent actually left me was at High Point University. That's where I think everything changed was because High Point is this like conglomerate of mostly New Jerseyans, New Jerseyans. So I have no idea. I think we all, I think most Americans think we sound like the average American. But like, I, I, I very rarely say ain't or reckon. You know what I mean? Love this emote. That is a fantastic pineapple emote. Big fan of that one. Um, hi, everyone. Just wanted to encourage you with these words. Don't let the devil deceive you with telling you that he will give you all the glory of these kingdoms. If only you would bow down to me. But Jesus said, get away from me, Satan. You will worship the Lord your God. And him only will you serve, Matthew 4, 9 through 11. Yeah, Temptation in the Desert. Great stuff. Great stuff for sure. I actually saw there's a there's a church sign near me that posts a lot of problematic Christianese. And they posted one um, this week that I can't figure out what it means. And I want to see if you guys can help me out. Help me figure out what it means. It says, well, what does it say? If you don't mess with the devil, he won't mess with you. What does that mean? What does that mean to you? If you don't mess with the devil, he won't mess with you. I don't think that's quite right. <laughs> In fact, I would go so far as to say there's an entire book written by C.S. Lewis um, that says that's not the case. But I appreciate your encouragement, Blake, is my name. Thanks for dropping that encouragement right for us. But you made me think of a very interesting, like, weird church sign that doesn't really add up. Okay, people struggle to figure out my accent because of my speech impediment and because I naturally pick up on accents and slang depending on the media I'm consuming and people I'm interacting with all the time. At the time. Yeah, for sure. And there's a part of it there. A part of it. I've heard that us Mich Michiganders... 
are very nasally. I'm trying to think about what I think about when I think of a Michigan accent. You know the Minnesota, Minnesota, oh, that's like an easy one. That's one we actually used in choir. If you sing, if you sing at all, you probably learned the Minnesota, so, 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 Minnesota. Because it's so up in here, you lift your soft palate really crazy high. Tell me about it. Since I've been watching Twitch, I've started using some Americanisms. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure there's tons of those phrases here and there that come up. Do you use a sad emote, Blake? Don't use a sad emote. No, I appreciate your message. The very encouraging. We do our best. We do our best that we can to discern and to and to figure out when when are we trying to be tempted and how are we instead allowing our, our nerdy hobbies and our passions to do something greater. I think it's a great word. It's great stuff. Michigan has two accents. We got youpers and us trolls. Police is trying to go to Leeds to rage this summer. Sis says, I live in Yorkshire. If you have a chance to, go visit York. It has a Viking base, then became a Roman base, full of history, with strange little streets and a city wall. Sounds like a great place to write a novel. I always appreciate a good novel. A good novel set in a, in a UK city or in a small, a small UK area, you know? Y'all just have the best sets, dude. You're a troll? Well, you put an encouraging scripture for a troll. Trolls are welcome, too. I'm trying to decide if my oolong tea is ready. I can't remember when I got up to get my tea. It would have been whenever we started our invasion of the pineapples. Let's see. Can I pull up when that was? 20 minutes ago. There's no way it was 20 minutes ago. That's what we call trolling. I just got it in five minutes. Cheers to some more oolong tea. All right, my dudes. We're starting the game at two. We're doing it. We're doing it. Stanley Parable, just kick it off at two o'clock. This has been a great just chatting time. An extended just chatting. Folks, we're very close to our thousand followers. 940. We've gotten a ton of followers over the past couple weeks. It's been very exciting, very fun. Um, followers are not what it's all about. Numbers are not what it's all about, but I'm excited to get to 1K. It's been a, it's been a, a long time coming, and I really would love to get to that before our next check-in line. I think that'd be fun. Oh, you were talking about Michigan. I thought you were talking about trolling. The next checkathon is in July, I believe, if I recall correctly. I'm a follower of Jesus. Well, trolls can be followers of Jesus. <laughs> I was saying that because I'm not a youper. Got you. Michigander. We actually have a lot. Of, we, have, we have quite a few folks from Michigan that hang out around Checkpoint. What's up, Stained? You're just in time. We're about to start the game. Your mom's happening in July. Not true. She was actually um, born in January. This is a good try. This is a good try. Other half of the year. Her half birthday. Her half birthday would have been in July. Is in July. She's not dead. She's alive. My mother's alive. My mom's living. My mom is fine. Everyone, my mom is fine. Please don't worry about my mom. <coughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. Excited for some Stanley. Who has played Stanley Parable? Who has not played Stanley Parable in the chat? Who out there has? Who out there has not? I'm very curious. I want to know. Tell me, baby girl, because I need to know. All right, we got three no's and one yes so far. Seen it play.
Trombone is playing a different kind of game entirely, it sounds like. I don't remember if I need a controller for this game. We'll get it anyway. We shall get it anyway. All right, so we got we got one, two, three, four, five no's with one yes. Wow! Well, yeah, we definitely need to play them, for sure. Shame on me for even considering not playing. Just enjoying myself so much, you know? Um, Stanley Parable is a great game. It is, as I've already said, a very meta game. So everything that's going to be happening in the game is going to be kind of a commentary in and of itself. But we're just going to enjoy this. We're just going to enjoy the experience here. Have not, but I've seen it played before. This is the new one that came out, correct? And it's been so long since I've played. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it and say that I don't remember anything. Um, I'm not gonna call it. A, I guess I, I, mean, I. What the heck? We'll call it a first playthrough. First playthrough of this version. All right. Updated my tags. Updated the tags officially. The game cap here. Go ahead and turn off Spoofy. Goodbye, Spoofy. I put Elden Ring in the mail today and feel so much happier already. Man, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you spent so much time with that game when you weren't having fun. If a game if a game stops being fun, folks, you have my permission, my express permission to stop playing it. Um, subtitles for sure. Confirm. So I have, but I'm going to say that I haven't. Because it's been so long. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Well, I need to look on stream. Hang on. I mean, the whole computer is barely visible right there. Please enter the current time. What is this, Pokemon? It's 2.01. Oh, I got to go all the way through. 201. Note, accessibility settings can be accessed from the main menu. Okie doke. All right, and do let me know if things are not, I might as well go ahead and turn up the audio. Because you're gonna need to hear the, you're gonna need to hear the, the speaker of the game here. Begin the game. The end is never, the end is never, the end is loading. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Let me know if you can hear okay, folks. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, Turn it up. and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it so... Whoop. Oh, I skipped it. I skipped it. No, yeet. We'll start over. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, cool. Now I got to remember what in the world to do. Restart it. Uh, you would think you would think that begin the game again would just work. All right, let's see. Hopefully this works. Here this we go. This is the story of a man, man named, named Stanley. Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Good and then Stan. one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. 
something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. That's it. The rapture, the weekend, left behind all the above, none of the above? I hate Mondays. Classic. What a goof. Stanley's such a goof, dude. The Belco experiment. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh. What could it mean? Oh, my door closed. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Well, I guess we need to go to the No meeting. matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Is that the meeting room, you think? The game is a masterpiece. Must be an invasion of the body snatchers, either that or the rapture. It's gotta be one, right? <clears throat> gotta go to the meeting room, you guys. I hate Mondays. Oh, common recurrence here, clearly. What's going on here? Anything to see inside? Is it on Game Pass? I don't know if this is on Game Pass. Oh, it's a great game. I'm surprised you guys have never heard of this game. All right. Well, when Stanley oh. came to a set of two open doors, oh. he entered the door on his left. What do you guys think? Should we do it? Left or right? First thing I see in the chat, left or right? What do you think? What do we think? Left? Go right? Okay. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Is that what we wanted to do? That must have been what we wanted to do. I do love lounges. I'm a big fan of lounges. Wow. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. It is beautiful. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I am drinking. Truly beautiful. Can I have some coffee? Coffee sounds nice. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Worth it. But eager to get back oh. to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. All right, what do you guys think? Open door on the left? Do we take it or do we keep going? What are we voting? First thing I see in the chat, left or straight? Welp, says Buish. Left, says Sis. You got it. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Gotta go yell at some people, peace. Bye, Buish. Thanks for being here. Appreciate ya. Appreciate your lurk. Ooh. I am tempted by the button. I'm tempted by the button, but he told me to go straight ahead. He told me to move straight ahead. But the button, though. No, I'm gonna stay straight ahead. I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna be a good listener. Be a good listener. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. Be, I saw your basement message too late, Pineapple Pope. Okay. All right. It's all right. It's all right. Maybe, maybe, maybe something other cool will happen. Yet there was not a single person here either. Oh, no. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Push for funding for R&D for new coffee machine. Standard, standardized graphs 40 times wide is not cost efficient. Get, get Chris out of the broom closet. Fire paper guy. Hire somebody to fire the paper guy. Who moved my desk? Please keep the targets on the top. The targets? What's up? What? Well, I'm not on here. Who's Jim? <laughs> oh! 
416 and Jim. Number of slides on this slide. Chart slides, charts and slides. Hilarious. Oh my goodness. So cheeky. So cheeky. So much to read. We need less reviews. 402, 405, I want to get rid of the death sport portion in the primary review schedule. But I think that's a stupid idea. More water coolers, more water cooler heaters. Charts need to be more hip to appeal to teenage demographic. Find teenagers to put in teenage demographic. Big net, some sort of child trap. <laughs> Poor Chris. Broom closet. Chris. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Chris. Chris. Chris! There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to Chris. follow. Just an empty broom closet. Chris! No reason to still be here. Chris! Aww. I wanted to find Chris. I guess Chris is fine. Downstairs. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No, I'm going to the creepy red lights, actually. Pineapple said that he wanted to see the basement. I'm gonna go to the basement. I'm gonna go to the basement for Pineapple. Ooh, a car! But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And Which then one of these do you guys think is Chicago Stanley. time? Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. The exit. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Oh no, I don't even Why feet. did doors close automatically behind him? That is something I've went? noticed. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? I don't no, know. I Stanley said to different. himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, oh, no. he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. Oh, no. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't oh, actually no! Dreaming. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. No. I have to go back to my boring real-life job no! pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Let me in the car! And so, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. No. <laughs> then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. No! It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. Starfield isn't How coming out for another year! So lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. Yeah. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Well, he's a friendly voice. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. This now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? Yes, voice. This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. Wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Wake up. The press of the mattress on his back. Wake up. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, 
he thought to himself. Let me wake up. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. That's what I'm saying. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. That's what I said. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. I didn't know I had a wife. All I want is my that life one. exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Oh, that's that's a mantra Everything for you. Everything <laughs> will be fine. Now that is a mantra. I am okay. Nope. It didn't work. Work. It didn't work. Stanley began screaming. Oh no! Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Boom. Okay. That's fine. I'm fine. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Really? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Stanley! But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, oh, no. and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Oh, no! And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, Stanley! for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. No! He was obviously crazy. Not true. This much she knew. I'm very normal. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. What do they look like? And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I just said that. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. Is she hearing this voice? I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. Well, good then for she her. she remembered the meeting <laughs> she had scheduled for that day the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension the rest of her life she had no time for this i like her hair so it was only a moment that she stood there staring down at the body and then she turned and ran i thought she was going to call the police or the ambulance all right i guess we lost all right now what should we do um do y'all know the camp song about Joe who works in a button factory? That's what I keep thinking about with that monologue. I do know that camp song. All of his co-workers were gone. All right, let's what try a different, mean? a different path this Stanley time. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Different Perhaps path, he had simply different missed path, a memo. Different path, different path. Yeah, we lost. We got to try again. All right. When Last Stanley time, we didn't listen. We chose right. Open doors, he entered the door on his left. This time, should we listen or should we not listen again? I'm going to go with, listen, we're going to listen this time. We're going to do everything he says. Everything he says. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. That's what we're going to do. Boss man! Boss man! Stepping into his manager's office, oh. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. What? And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, well, five. Well, I mean, uh, if you're going to tell me But it. of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random <laughs> buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Oh, Amazing. no! Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Okay. Why are there why are there hazard hazard windows? Okay. Oh, that's true. We should try next time. Do two eight four five before he can tell us two eight four five. I could definitely try. Do we want to try it? I mean, it would get us back to the same point, right? Let's do it. Let's make it happen. All of his co-workers were gone. Two eight four five. Two eight four five. Here we go. 
Stanley decided to go We're to doing the it. meeting room. We're doing Perhaps it. he had simply missed a memo. How am I gonna win? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't No, why is it not opening? So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Oh, I do love it. You're right, I should calm down. I should chill out, Mr. Narrator. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the open Oh my passageway. goodness, so cheeky, dude. So cheeky. All right, now, now, let's find out what's downstairs. The basement! Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's to the basement we go. All right, that's fine, this is cool. I'm good. We're good. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Then he walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We're going to listen to him this round. We're going to listen to him. We said we'd listen to him. We're going to listen to him. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I'm sure I'll be fine. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true Whoa! nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. In all, in all honesty, that's not that many people. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy oh, with no, his boring fire. job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yep, seems pretty likely. No, he refused to believe it. Yeah, he matrix. couldn't accept it. His own life pirate. in someone else's control? Never. There was a pirate? It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I will. Of course I will. I just gotta figure out how to do that. Let me just, uh, let me just, uh, let me just, uh, let me just figure out how to do that. Let me just take my time here. Oh, there's a button number five. What does that say down there? System power. Okay. And Turn. when at last he found the spot. Oh. I did it. 
I solved it. Right? There was no spirit. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Did I do it? Was it over? Am I the hero? Yes. He had won. I'm the winner. He had defeated the machine. I defeated it. Unshackled himself from someone else's I'm command. Unshackled, baby. Freedom was mere moments Freedom! away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Quite slow. Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. There were a lot. Where had his co-workers gone? Who knows? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? Who could say? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking but happiness. Oh, aren't we all? Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Yeah. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. I still have a voice in my head. And Stanley was happy. But I was also happy at my job. Beat the game, get my first achievement. Hey, two achievements. I just did it. Uh oh. And yet we're back here, huh? I guess I didn't beat the game. All right, what now? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right, now we're gonna vehemently not listen to anything he says. When Stanley came to a set of two no. open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the he didn't die. We beat the first, game just to admire it. But then we were still in where we needed to be. Wow. I yes. am not going to admire this it. room. No. Nope. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his I left. I will not. No. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Says you. This doesn't seem very good. Marie! Hey! Thank you for playing my game. We're going to adventure. And law I only have one hand! Trombone! I only have one hand. Okay. He's not giving me any instructions. I need I need instructions so that I can not follow them. Indeed. You want Mario to play? Okay. So we're going to be playing a Stanley Parable. If I had to give my true sense, I would say this game could have Look, a Look, Stanley, I think perhaps jumping. we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the we fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. The sign says I'm not to fall off, but you've been neglecting it. Uh -oh. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the uh -oh. story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley thing. left from the platform and plunged to his death. He sounds like Good the job, thing. Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. I'm powerful. Oh, is this a different office? Is... What? I'm so confused! How do we go to the different place? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two oh! open doors, he entered the door on I his just left. For things. No! This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, yes. just to admire it. I stopped by on my own time. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back no. to business, 
Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. I'm not a go, I to do that. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years There's ago. Anywhere. Be sure, there's nowhere I can go. Nowhere. I'm a jump man. I want to jump. Is there a nowhere I can go? Okay. Look, Stanley. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else He's can be difficult, itch. but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten Ooh, about. I bet I could land down Please, there. stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Who? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. Who is a her? To put your work aside. You got a Pete To in let this game? her back into your life. Pete? She's been waiting. Pete? Is it a princess? She ain't another cow. Something not a feeling right. Normally, I have to fight in a Bowser. <laughs> That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. I don't want to If you can truly phone. place your faith in another, I don't want to answer the then phone. pick up the phone. I don't want to answer the phone. Sneaky pick and say a jump. I did it. I answered the phone. Hello? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Who put the bread? All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now okay. I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Oh! <laughs> gotcha. Oh! No! Oh, come on. Peeps! Did you actually think what you had a lot of money? Did you want to commit what that life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. No. I'm trying to get you to see oh. something. Oh. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going no, on here. Let me... Oh, no. Oh, you animal. You're a monster. They're not even the This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. I'm dead. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. Yes. He has a job that demands nothing of him. That's cruel. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of Very his cool. existence. Okay. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Okay. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Okay. Now he's going home. Yes. Now he's coming back to work. Okay. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Yes. Okay. But in his mind, ah... In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions yes. into the unknown. Yes. Fantastic discoveries of yes, new yes. lands. Yes, It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to no. him. No, no, it does happen. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished no. off the face of the earth. No. The thought excited him terribly. No. Spend time with so the boys. he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. Yes. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. Yes. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful yes. to behold. Uh -huh. I can make a As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began oh, to fill no. it with many oh, possible no. paths and what destinations. The Down one path lay an enormous store? round room with monitors and mind controls. 
and down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions, what? and down another was a game with a baby. A baby? And he called it the Stanley Parable. No! What did you do with a baby? It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head he relived it again, and then again, mm. and again, mm. over and over, no. wishing beyond hope that it would never end, no. that he might always feel this free. No. Surely there's an answer down some new path, yes. mustn't there be? Yes. Perhaps if he played just one more one time. More time. But there My is wife. no answer. How could there My possibly wife. be? My In reality, wife. all he's doing My is pushing wife. the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. Yes. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Yes. Go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. I know, I know. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. Oh. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not no, do it. I'm going to push it. I'm going to push it. I'm going to do it. You see? Can he just not hear me? No! How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. No. I'm not a push the button. I'm not a push the button. I'm not a push of the button. I'm not a push of the button. Let it be out. Let it be out. Let it be out of here. I'll do anything. Just don't make a push of the button. No. All right, time's up for Marie. Now it's time to get Locke. Locke is going to be significantly less interesting. <laughs> Locke is going to be considerably less interesting. Uh, what do you think we should do, Locke? Yeah! You think we should just press the button? Should we just get it over with? I'm pressing every other button. What was that? I didn't know I could duck. It's kind of neat. Ducking's pretty fun. What if we can Z target? <laughs> you would know all about that, wouldn't you, buddy? Fine. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same. I as tried to press there. every other button. So I tried to not press the button. Eventually. I'll try it. once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps. Well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Dark. Dark ending. Very dark. Quite a dark. Oh, no, you're not Mario. Here we are again. Oh, what? Is it my office? Oh, there's so many endings, Sticky Pigs. I can't tell which one it is. Lock is in the way. Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Yeah. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. That's a lot Can of boxes. Can you verify that this is correct? Yee. Yeah. Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. No, really, Foundation. thank you. Thank you. Okay. It looks like somebody has, like, an email right here. What's up with that? Huh? Okay. All right. I guess let's go get our boxes. Where's the narrator? Mr. Narrator! Where have you gone? Where have you gone, sir? 
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that this time. I'm going to go... I'm going to take a left at my managers instead of going into my managers. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Yes. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yes, but I'm going to take a left instead of a right. I want to see what's this way. Ooh, an executive bathroom? Ooh, I do love a fancy bathroom. Ah. Uh, I've got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. Say, that's a lovely purse. What's happening now? Toilet. That's just a weird, a weird thing to put on the wall. Just a weird thing. Okay. Don't. Don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like that image. Oh! Well, this is delightful. You hear the Stanley? <laughs> Alright, that's enough. It's enough! It's enough slices! Alright! Alright! We're high enough! Alright! 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 Alright, we're high enough! We're high enough! We really are- we're really- Okay. That's more than enough, sir. Mr. Waka! Mr. Waka, we're high enough! Alright! Alright! That's enough slices! Too many slices! Let me off! What? 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 Oh, come on. All right, well. Oh. All right, let, let's see what happens if we go down then. What if we go down? Down. There we go. What's up, by the way? Lee, how are we doing? It's like, that's a way through this song. Is it, is it, that, does it just go on forever? here. Doing good. I'm messing with some stream stuff. I'm trying to figure out how to jerry-rig my Canon 60 to bypass the built-in auto off 30-minute uh, timer. Ugh. Yeah, I totally get that. That's why I went, I went with the Sony A7 instead, because it doesn't have that. But... If you figure out a good way to do it, let me know. Because I have a, I have a Canon, uh, it's not a 6D, but I do have a, 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 a Canon that has that same feature. But I could never figure out how to do it. Trying not to buy a new cam or sell. Yep. I totally do. Well, and it's possible the 60 may allow you, and mine just doesn't. I have like one of the Rebels, one of the Rebel series. Mm 
I mean, I'm enjoying the groovy music. It's nice. It's really easy. I can do it for you in shipping the apparatus. Well, that's very kind. You guys want like a free doodle or something while we're doing this? What gen I can order the wire? I don't even know. I, I think it's at, at my home. I don't know if I have it here or not. I'm at, I'm at the office. I can't remember what it's. It, I know it's a rebel, but I don't know which one it is. I'm getting the sneaking suspicion that this elevator isn't going anywhere at all. Let you know. I'm sure I'll hop on to one of the new, the next Moviga podcast or streams or whatever. Does this go on forever or what? I got pretty good patience, but not that good. Dag it! Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Shoot me a message whenever. I'll keep that in mind. For sure. For sure. For sure. I gotta figure out where it is first. Got fun! Like Scoob, I guess we better see what's inside of this gotcha pot. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. <laughs> you don't sound too sure of yourself there, Shaggy. Um, you got another Pokemon badge. Uh, yet another Pokemon badge has been got, which I believe is number seven. Is this number seven? We've got, no, this is number six. So we're on, we're on to badge number six here of our Pokemon League badge system. So, one step closer. One step closer, Sneaky. We are nearly there. We are nearly there. Whenever we uh, fill out the Pokemon badges, whoever gets the last badge will get to pick a tier maker tier list for me to do. Still waiting. No, wait, Bleach did have me do one. I was gonna say I'm waiting on Bleach's, but he had me do one. Okay, well, what a, what a, what a useless elevator, huh? Absolutely useless elevator. Um, I'm just going to close. All right, fine. We'll go down here. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the key. Oh, you're not even going to make me push the key <laughs> Oh, hey, look. It's a new passageway. Surprise. Two surprise. Okay. If you say so. This time, should we go for the escape? What do you think? I say we go for the escape. I don't know. I'm very curious about why that button said five earlier. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Escape. Mind Control Facility. Escape! Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, <laughs> Stanley would meet his violent death. What? Well, I guess I'm gonna... The door behind him was not shut. <laughs> Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. No violent death. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. How about if I walk backwards? Oh! Oh, well. I, uh... I guess I died. Oh! As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to oh. his darkness, <laughs> he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. It can't be true. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Like a duck. Farewell, Stanley, ha! cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into no, the ducking. enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, no, I'm Stanley duck. was obliterated no, I'm duck. as the machine crushed every bone. You can't in crush body, me! My knees are bent instantly. See? Oh. 
exactly. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. Okay. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? It's like eerie quiet. <laughs> it's like creepy levels quiet. Oh. Oh. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, yeah. death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Oh, it's a museum. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, can I play solitaire? Oh. Oh, I'm so... Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay. Oh. The buttons. Okay. Well, at least I get to enjoy this nice museum, huh? Really nice museum. I love what they've done with the place. War zone now? What's that? Fascinating. I wonder I wonder what's been added in the deluxe version. Oh, I haven't done the vent option. Fascinating. Well, this is this is as meta as meta can be because we're actually experiencing how the game would work. actually lit up and everything. Fascinating. <laughs> well, it's like a little hazy right here, doesn't it? It's been a while since I've been to a museum. Are you guys museum people? myself. Big fan of museums. Oh, we could turn off the game, huh? I guess is that what we have to do to end this? That's the exit. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? It's like the bat and the joker. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever oh, no, it you do, crushes. choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... I didn't... I didn't do it. I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. I chose to be squished. What is the point of ducking? Why can I duck? All right, here we are again. 
All Whoa, these boxes. co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply Are these all the boxes that I ordered earlier? No, oh, so many boxes! <laughs> so many boxes! What? All right, well. So many boxes. Oh my gosh. When Stanley came to a set of two open I want to try doors, and land on that. Entered the planet. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Let's see if we can Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Totally what I want to do. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five I'm years ago. I'm gonna try to ago. land on that thing. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps <laughs> we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Here we go, here we go. I'm not your enemy. The timing really has gotta be not. perfect. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Now. What? Really? Yeah! I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? That's Are it. you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? Hard. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. Danger, Look, danger let everywhere. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Okay. If you had a key card, that'd be great. Key card would be nice. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Where do I get a key card? Blue door. Aha, perhaps you have understood. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. Nice. Can I close the red door and then go through the blue door? I still don't think we're communicating <laughs> properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. <laughs> you want to know so badly what's out there? I you want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. I do. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Oh, look at the Broken styles. rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? <laughs> Was it, it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? It was worth it. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. Well, and in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. I did, I wanted Help this. me here, Stanley. I Help chose. elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. Mm. What would have made this game better? Well, I don't know. What did you want to see? Vehicles? No. Skill trees? That would have been Work nice. with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you from? can give me some feedback. Okay. There we go. Oh. A third option. Ooh. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. It does. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Wow. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Ooh. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Oh, pretty good. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Like Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Yeah, like Clearly there's something here that speaks to you. Yeah. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. Like this whole orange. third door thing was just a stab in the dark. Yeah, was but I guess stab. you're into it, so let's keep this party train rolling. Yeah. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. Okay. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. I'm sure, let's, let's take out. a look. Oh, a leaderboard, huh? Oh, good old Neil! Oh, wow. So many doors, so many steps, so many awards. Hang on, why did it go down? Only the worst 3% of players chose the blue door. <laughs> oh, communicate to other players. This is you. 9,328 9, out of 9,328. Friend list is empty. He's burning me right now. You're burning me right now. 
Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on. Okay. And now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Couldn't agree more. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Sure. Perfect. Let me boot it up. Oh, he really is booting it. In this it. game, hey, it's the baby. baby crawls left towards danger. Yeah. You click the button to move him back to the right. Why is it playing? And if he reaches the fire, you fail. Okay. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I, like that. I think the art world will really take notice. Probably. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. Four hours? So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. I like your sound effect. I feel like they chose a really good sound for it. No! 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 <laughs> you thought I was not looking? You thought I wasn't paying attention? No! What, you think I'm looking away or something? You think I'm not paying attention? No! I like your sound effects a lot. I feel like they're really good. No! Goodbye, baby. You heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? I love me? babies. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see... What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Ah, oh, uh -huh. Firewatch! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? Oh, it's such a What's good game. What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Oh. Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man no! spying on innocent civilians below you from He's up not creepy. high in your creep tower. Perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. No! Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience oh, of creepy. total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Who fire watches the fire watch? And see what else is out there. <laughs> That's amazing. And I wonder if it's a, if it's an exact recreation. Does it have like the the step down? Oh, it does. And he almost hits his head. Oh, I didn't do it. Okay, I was about to say that would have been a real game changer. <laughs> oh, I love. No, 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 no. It can't be. What's wrong? Is it that... is. It's an open world game. Yeah, Good God, quickly, block it off. What now? Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. I don't know if I'd call this an open really world game. wandered off into that, that thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Uh, there was kind of a path oh, in fire. Oh, thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. Oh, Firewatch is such a good game. Now. I want to go back and play it. Okay, I think this will be just the thing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Rocket League! Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I have. Oh, but I'm not a car! <laughs> Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. I'm now, not a this car! This is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get Stop. lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Why am I in this game? And why am okay, I not? Okay, so what exactly do we do here? We're in Let's a car! See. We need to be in a car. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? It's sports Stanley, ball. Stanley, I think it's sports ball. It's sports oh, ball. what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. 
What team am I on? Ooh, I'm going faster. Is it gonna do the big explosion and everything? My goodness, I can't Are you even doing score. It? Are you winning? I can't even is score this in this one. Is it better than my miserable little story that I work so hard on? Stanley, I have a thought, and I realize Why I'm not a psychologist. What? If one ball generates a certain <laughs> Why won't it let me score? Pleasure, mm. Then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. Yes. Oh, goodness, that score. really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. More balls! That's so many balls. And I can't score with any of them. Oh, it doesn't do the big explosion! Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Are you having fun? Is this a real video game? No, it's supposed to explode. Well, I sure hope you're having a good time, because guess what? It's over. No! That's right. Your little fun comes to an end. This is my game, and what I say goes. Cruel. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Right. Besides, you need someone like me to set boundaries for you. Without rules or boundaries, video games are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I am structure. I'm your sense of purpose. And since you decided you didn't want to play my game, now I don't want to play with you either. So, goodbye, Stanley. Hold on. What are you doing? Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. You still have so much. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I outran the narrator. Um, it's pretty dark. It's pretty, pretty dark. I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble. Oh, okay. All right. This is fine. I'm fine. This, I'm fine. This is fine. This is fine. I'm fine. We're all good. No big deal. Trombone, thanks for your lurk, by the way. I don't think I ever said that. Appreciate your lurk, my friend. Okay, well. Yeah, I think, I think, this, is, I think this is fine. Just uh, making me a little nervous. Making me a little nervous. It's just a little. It's just a little quiet. Oh, there's some lights. Okay. All right. Lights are good. Lights are good. Okay. Lights are good. Lights imply people. People imply civilization. Civilization implies safety. Is that my four two seven? Okay. I guess this is. Uh, I guess this is my desk. This is where I work. Is that Da Vinci Resolve? Okay. I guess not then. Whoa. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. There's That's no who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Oh, there it goes. And boom, back in our normal spot. Perfect. All the boxes are Even gone. now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting, 
Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. Oh, new content. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? I guess we'll find out. So I guess if I had said that I'd played the game before, this is where it would have started me. Kind of hard to miss, huh? Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Yeah. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. We all called them home computers back in 2013. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. We still call them home computers, yeah. The Stanley Parable Ultra oh, Deluxe don't like that. <laughs> features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. I'm delighted. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Yeah. Yeah, why is there a why is that propped there like keeping things out? Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, yep. but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. I'm somewhat sure about that. Um is it broken? What's going on here? Should we should we be moving somewhere? Or, or, oh, oh, here okay, we go. Here we go. All right, finally, rusty. at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley <laughs> Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. tedious. It's as if, um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. I'm here. I'm here for it. What's that now? All right. All right. Let's see. It's the jump. Wow, circle. jumping! Is is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? All right, back on the elevator. Goodness, another well, elevator. Well, at least this one took right Stanley, off. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. Yeah. It's just elevators and jumping. And it's only in the is circle? This what <laughs> is for exciting new content? If this is new content, <laughs> then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Is the dictionary Hell, only 20 hours long? 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Yeah, I'm just a little curious about this weird catwalk, actually. Thank you for enjoying the new content. <laughs> That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> you see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And yeah. don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. I bet what it really does, The Assurance too. Department signed off on this. I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter <laughs> and hold them personally accountable. Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. Achievement unlocked, you can't What do you out. say, friend? Oh, you did it for me. Didn't give me the chance to say no, huh? What? What? Okay, well, obviously this is different. Psst! Stanley! 
Come over here, in the vent. I want to show you something. Okay. What's up, narrator? Oh. Do you have the new content? Did you find it? Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be, I but recall. it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. Okay. So I made something special Whoa. and tucked it away here <laughs> where the game's developers won't <laughs> find it. Just it's our ring. little secret. Take a look. It's Onion Ring! I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Wow. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Wow. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? <laughs> Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah, something tells me they didn't win a BAFTA. All right. Is that the first dollar they ever made? Hilarious. There's some CDs, DVDs. Well, there's me dead with the girl. There's me dead. Aw, oh, good memories. Remember dying? Fun. Fun times. Oh, I can't sit on the bench and enjoy the view. Je suis dans la memory zone. <laughs> what? Here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism, 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. <laughs> James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Do we have to? Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art. Is he British? Is he Irish? Stanley Parable I mean? strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. I mean, sure. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. Not a Persona It's no out. games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Was it really an hour? What's down here? Well, I mean, I'm pretty curious about what's down here. You're not gonna let me look down here? Come on, I'm super curious, narrator. Okay. I was person of the year. Is that the girl that found me dead? Mariella? Here's another moving passage, this time from <laughs> GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. Oh, no, it like it just needed to be bought. left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. You say so. Oh, I can go back down here? Oh, these were simpler yes. times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. Steam? What's this? What's down here? No! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, no. Stanley, yes! it's a collection of reviews from Steam, Steam. <laughs> the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. Let's I read some Steam reviews, what's been Stanley. Down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't mm. they? Let's read some glowing reviews. Steam people are always nice. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious That's such a good and bit. funny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! 
I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of I gags to insert into the, the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical Amazing. insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. This is hilarious. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh, dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. No. Like I let these people down. No. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded <laughs> explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything what? for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. I feel like you're mad. I feel like you're upset. I feel like maybe, I feel like maybe... And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's like what you're... the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. And if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Yeah. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. No, I won't. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. And it goes something like this. The story and the choices, <laughs> or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time, everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 we've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245, that the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. I kind of just want to see how far he goes. It went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say, the story and the choices, oh. or what happened. He just starts over. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes oh, and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Or maybe a manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. <laughs> now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45... <laughs> Stanley! Stanley! <laughs> Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know button. why the skips are getting longer, but they're... Button. Oh, Stanley. You're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. Where's the door? I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. Press the button! Press the button. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. 
I have had time to think about you and about us. No. And live That beeping sound. Press the button. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be <laughs> funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. <laughs> but where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They just been ranting. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, "End." The plant's so dead. Oh no, it's leaking. I can do this all day. The end is never the end is never the end is never the end. What's the loading screen? The end is never 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 the end. A little spooky. I like it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh, oh. oh no. What a Oh no. What's up, Mr. Taco Dudes? You're pretty late, but we still got to. Oh. Okay. We got about 30 minutes left on stream. Oh, wow! Things are beginning again, huh? New light is coming through. A new Genesis. Oh, never mind. <laughs> The Genesis is gone! The Genesis is gone! Oh. 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 Are we like beyond time and space now? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, that's, that's, oh no, oh no! Oh no, what have I done? Oh, what have I done? I need to skip, oh, I need to skip forward more. Oh, it's broken. Oh, the button's broken, oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh, what have I done? Oh, what have I done? This is the Stanley parable, Mr. Taco Dudes. Where do I go from here? What have I done? Who am I? Maybe there's, oh. I guess we're back at the beginning. Nice. All right, well, that was fun. Already this was uncomfortable, and Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, good. You noticed my sign. <laughs> How could I yes, not? I have something very exciting to show you. I can't wait. Oh, did we go a different way this time? Oh, we just skip past the stuff, okay. Okay. Off we go. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. Sure. The original Stanley parable was a landmark. And any new content for it should live up to that legacy. I couldn't agree so more. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it 
one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time this ever... This music is epic. ...the Stanley Parable 2. Wow. Wow. A sequel? Oh my yes, goodness. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Yeah. Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. Oh, An entirely real. new experience built from the ground oh, up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. Sure could. This is what fans Taste have truly sequel. been asking for. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't, don't you think? Kind of think Ultra Deluxe? Was, Deluxe. Was, was what does it cool. even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term <laughs> franchising <back>. potential. <laughs> oh, wow. I like it. Ooh, 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 I really like the number five. Number five's really nice. I like it. I like all the nods. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be. Look, you've got let's time. let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, Who took that the surely marker? the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. There was... Oh, Arkham City was... Okay, I see. Ooh, that's a nice one. I, I gotta be real. I'm, I'm a big fan of all the logos you guys have done. You've really done an incredible job. Ooh, new features? That's very nice, too. Very Netflix. Although it is a little quiet. It is just a little quiet in here. I mean, you've really outdone yourself with just the, the yeah, pure expanse of Go the on. Try out some of the new features. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game? What? The reassurance bucket? Merch? Oh, I love merch. Oh my goodness, I love merch, dude. But I wanna hear my name. Please tell me my name. I wanna hear my name. Say my name, For the Stanley say my Parable name. 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. It's true. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Jim. Uh, Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, <laughs> the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. I see. Here, let's have you roleplay as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, Forget whoever you are and simply become a person named Jim. All right, I am Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. My life is Jim. Sleeping and waking as Jim. I have slept and Falling in love and being heartbroken I as Jim. Have loved Seizing Jim all of the world's Jim. possibilities as Jim and as Jim watching seized. your dreams crumble into dust. My dreams have crumbled. Do you feel it deeply? Yes. Are you really, truly Jim? I am right Jim. Now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. Wow! <laughs> yes! You see! What a thrill! What a rush! Exactly. That was you! The button described you! Do it again! Do it again! Jim! Ooh. It hits even harder the second time. It is, it's if this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal value. Oh, there, cowboy. Sometimes a person gym. can be too gym. much gym. 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 I'm putting gym. the gym button away. Gym. Otherwise, soon you'll start gym. to lose all gym. sense of gym. who you actually gym. are. Gym. Gym. Fine. Fine! I wanted to be Jim. Alright. 
Uh, I think next I want to uh, experience the infinite hole. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. Could, that could, would could. actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Please no screenshots. <laughs> Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. balloons. But I'm undecided on Jim Get Well Someday and Happy Twelfth Birthday. Which thoughts. would you go with? Do I actually have to choose? Oh, I see. Um, get Well Someday or Happy Twelfth Birthday. <laughs> step niece! I love step niece. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday it is. What? No, I picked this one. Well. Well. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. I want to be in this place. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. You see? Isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, no hesitation. you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Nope. <coughs> mm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Why? Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Why? Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerate no! the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? No! To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. Am I going to hit the bottom? I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the nth great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. <laughs> Can I do it again? Okay. Well, I guess we're back in the hole now. Did you really need to see it again? I need it too. I don't know what else there is to say, Stanley. It's an infinite hole. It's not, though. It's exactly what you're doing right now, but forever. It's not. There really are so many other fascinating exhibits that I've prepared for you. I really spent quite a lot of time on all this, and I would very much like to show you some more of them. How about we go ahead and press that teleport button again, so we can get back to what's really important about... Oh. Oh, goodness. Well, this is rather embarrassing, Stanley. I'll be honest with you. I truly did not believe that anyone would uh -oh. actually stay in the hole long enough to hit the bottom. I broke the yes, game. Yes, I know. I told you the hole was infinite, but come on. Who actually wants to fall forever? The hole was plenty deep. Every it was more than deep enough, in my two. opinion. <laughs> Maybe it's you who likes falling too much. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite. I can do that. If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. What if we called it somewhat infinite? Do we have to say mostly? I want to see how long he'll awkwardly sit here. We wait. You lied. I want an infinite hole! No quips. 
No one-liners? Nothing? Meeting at 2 p.m. Management. <sighs> Cigarettes. Someone's just been smoking down in the infinite hole. All right. All right. I guess there's nothing. Babushka! Oh, for heaven. <laughs> you see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. <laughs> normal, a normal yes. person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? Every I couldn't help time. but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly... I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positive <laughs> Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. Yeah, I am! If this starts to become a thing where... It's wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I agree. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep. And that's even all I ever by the want. lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. We're gonna find out. Yeah. Let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. How is this still appealing to you? <laughs> I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. It scratches the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. <laughs> the, um, it's not teleport working. button not working? No, it's not working. You sure? Uh-huh. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was still nothing. Well, I suppose, I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, <laughs> and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. No! It's a win for everyone. Don't do you this. You get to be with the hole. I get to do literally anything else. Don't Take do Take care, this. Stanley. No! I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of the <laughs> No! Narrator! You can't do this! You can't do this to me! Well. I guess it's just me and Hole now. Change my reality? 
<laughs> oh, I like that one. Oh, I love that one. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> With the puppies! Change yourself! What? <laughs> oh, I like that one. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one a lot. Scott Pilgrim style. Oh, no. I don't like that one. Can I be puppy? No. <laughs> Stanley? 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 What? Oh, good, you're awake. <laughs> it seems you had sort of dozed off there. No. Drifting away into dreamland. Uh-uh, not dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley. I transcended. Because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single minute. I transcended, so narrator. how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up? To keep you really, truly focused on yeah, the Yeah, upside hole. down, man, is a good one. From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. And I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Is it happening? Is it happening again? Life isn't worth living, it's just the hole. Ah, ah! where's the hole? Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. Oh, I missed the hole. I guess we'll go to the reassurance bucket. I missed the hole. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I'm happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. Yes. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. I like it. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind yeah. and your heart. It's okay. true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly the normal bucket. and perhaps the bucket. even comforting. The bucket. You may even come to long for the Give gentle the embrace of jarring mm. cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in Give your the arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient Give solution me for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes. Bucket. The bucket is the perfect yeah, solution. Yeah, Come on, yeah. give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Can I take the bucket to the hall? I'd like to take the bucket to the hall. Yes. If Does hole. anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Infinite hole, infinite hole, infinite hole, infinite hole. Ouija, what do you think about the infinite hole? What's up, trombone? I see you. I see you got a Ouija. Ouija. Hello. It's me. Aw, infinite hole. Aw. The infinite hole! They took it away from me. He's very sad. I'm not happy. Ah. We must show hole the bucket and the bucket will be pleased. The hole was amazing. We love the infinite hole. 
Infinite. Oh, it's a track. Now here's something special. Yeah. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? No. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. I love yes. it. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. I'm holding it back, but I cannot do it. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be Am fixed I in the sequel it? to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Now, I want to go. Keep it to me. Pull me, please. Pull me, please. I'm trying! Don't know what to do. I missed the hall. The hall is my friend! Just trust me, Trombone. The infinite hall is the greatest joy I've ever experienced. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Can you find them? Can you find them? Can you find them? Ah, collectibles. Now I love a collectible. it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. Oh, and like what's Fallout. truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. Like a vault boy. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Now, good. A figurine! Ah! Ah! I don't like it! Oh no. Don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like. No. No, no. Put them in the bucket. Do not like the hands. Okay. Hey! I did it! You found it! Good job. Are there actually six in this game? God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. I want the infinite hole. Oh, I, he changed the sign. Fine, it ended. <laughs> That's great. That is great. So I guess all we have left is the exit? Have we done everything? The jump circle. I feel like we've done most of the stuff. What, where, what else is there? Oh, we haven't been in here. What was that? What is that sound? It's scaring me. Oh, it's near. An epilogue. What's up here? The settings world champion? Do I really have to hold on to this bucket? Where else am I supposed to go? Have I been in here? Oh yeah, this is the get well someday. Check settings. I don't see anything. Got the reassurance bucket. I got the button. Office decorations. Done the screenshots. What was in here? Have I gone up here? Or is this where I just was?
All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? I guess. Ready to move on now? I'd like the infinite hole back. If I had my option, I would choose the infinite hole again. Oh. So, Thunderdome? Stan, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yeah. Guess I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game. The infinite hole is not for me. I can me. feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's yeah, definitely. Sort of. Okay, never mind. How do I have the bucket? Hold and the on. Bucket's also Let me there. do a different arrangement. I want the hole. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. <coughs> here we go. Version 2. Whoa. <sighs> I want the hole. Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video trophy. game at all. It's a lot oh, of Oh, I gags. see all of them. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I think you've got a good I wanted start. fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. I don't know. They, they would need the gag. structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Luigi also enjoyed the whole. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose Not it caring. could. But it would Good need time. a really Good big, time. tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold yes. and uncompromising conviction, Good design. this key, is the Stanley Parable 2. Five. Number Let me five. see if I can whip something up. Number five. Mm -hmm. Number oh, five was the good one. Go ahead. Take a look. Okay. Ah! Wow. The Stanley Parable 2. Begin the game. Or maybe I should check the settings first to see about that. World champion or whatever it was. Nope. Okay. Begin the game. This is the story oh! of a man named Stanley. We're back here again. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. He's all coming back. Employee number 427's job the same, was but different. He sat at his desk in room 427 wow. and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders I came to him hole. through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, I how hole. long to push them. And in Not order. enough infinite this hole. This is what employee 427 did every day. More every infinite month hole. Of every year. And although oh, no. others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. Yes. As though he had been made exactly for this job. Yes. And Stanley. What's happy? We know, we know, we know. Where's the hole? And then one day, we something very know. peculiar happened. Something that would forever yes. change Stanley. Yes. Something he would yes. never quite forget. Yes. Yes. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him oh, to no. follow. No one had showed up to give oh, him instructions, call a meeting, it does the or rapture. even say hi. Never Remember, in all we his made years the joke at the, the beginning company, of stream. It was the rapture. This complete isolation. Uh -huh. Something was very Where's clearly home? wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. The balloons! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply... The bucket! Stanley picked up the bucket. Yeah! Right. It was the rapture for the annual conference video, definitely. Oh, that's where new content was. Yeah! Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Okay, sure. Wherever the hole is. 
Guide me safely to the hall. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find- Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give him. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion. And coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of Chianti? any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley Why may so have broken Chianti? down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. I did. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number oh, for the changed? keypad was 2845. Oh, I got it backwards. I thought it was 2485. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? The bucket was knew. the bucket guiding him? Yes. Oh, it's four o'clock. Oh my gosh, I gotta go. Logical explanation. We gotta go to the next ending. The next ending that we get. Oh, a collectible! You found one of them. Yeah. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward <laughs> for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. Oh, you can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. I've got so, get it. I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these It's really long figurines. enough. You've talked about it long enough. Okay. I'm gonna raid Joby, for sure. For sure. I don't know if this is gonna wrap up, though. I wonder if that counts as a save point. The I'm going to say that counts as a save point, and we're going to wrap up now because I've got to go. I've got um, a baby that I have to go home to. Um, so we're going to hop off here. Folks, thanks for tuning into the stream. Thanks for being a part of this stream together. It's been great as always. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate those that were in the chat engaging with us, having a good time. I definitely had a lot of fun, and I hope that all of you did as well. Um, we are really a church. For Checkpoint Church, I am really a pastor, and I really had a baby. It's true. It's true. It's true. The crown has made it clear. The weather must be perfect all the year. Game was fun. My face hurts from laughing. Seriously. <coughs> if you guys want to keep playing, um, we can play more tomorrow, or we can play more on Thursday, or whenever, wherever, whatever. Or if you want to play the game for yourself, it's a great game. Um, but it's a lot of fun. I've, I've very much enjoyed every minute. Uh, it's a great game. Chovy's playing Kingdom Hearts 3. No, Kingdom Hearts 2. Nice. Enjoy some Kingdom Hearts 2 action with Chovy. Um, like I said, Checkpoint Church, really a church. Nerd Pastor Nate, really a pastor. We're really doing this thing um, all the time. Uh, Bleach is streaming Halo tonight. Chovy's streaming Kingdom Hearts right now. We've got all sorts of streams going on all the time. Folks, if you want to know more about when streams are happening, join our Discord, exclamation point Discord in the chat. We try and connect people as best as we can together. Let them get to know each other and support another in our community. Um, yeah. We believe three things to be true about every single one of you, regardless of whether or not you believe in God, go to church, whether or not you've enjoyed yourself here, or whether you thought this was a miserable time. No matter what, we believe three things to be true about every single one of you. Number one, we believe that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. That's what we're doing here on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. And number three, we believe that you, yes, you, matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Oh no, my main is showing while well, I'm trying to lurk while well, I'm here, not here for a bit longer. All good. We're going to send you over to Chovy. Twisted shot. So until the next time that we see you folks, be well. 
I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 2 o'clock for a Make Good stream from yesterday. Uh, go and raid Chovy, and let's just spam a bunch of You Matters in the chat. Just a bunch of You Matters. Um, it looks like he might be in the Coliseum. So, best of luck in the Coliseum there. Um, but we're going to go on over. So, until the next time that I see you, folks, bye-bye!